guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been like a long, long while since we've been here because I haven't really filmed in a while. So I'm gonna like show for a little bit. I have my cat behind me. But yeah, we haven't filmed in a while. So hey guys, it's Haley and welcome back. So today's video is going to be about how the beginning of the school year changed to the end of the school year because I feel like I need to make this video to show you how I started off in a new school and made new and have new opportunities then yeah versus the beginning of the year towards the end of the year so in the beginning of the year i remember being so excited to go to school and then my old school never really transferred over the records so then i couldn't go to school for like the first week and it was like the end of the week on friday my aunt was like you can go to school now and i was like oh my god i'm so excited and then we were going, and I, like, I found a sense of nervousness already. And then she gave me a letter. It was from my mother before she passed away. And it was, like, telling me how she was proud of me. And then I saw that letter, and I, like, burst into tears. And my aunt's like, we're going to take the long way today. <laughs> we're taking the long way. So we took the long way to the school. And I just remember saying, can can we take an even longer way <laughs> let's go let's go come on we can go longer let's come on uh, it's, it's okay they won't miss me i promise i just remember not wanting to go at that point so then i had to call my friend and we i called her and like she tried to calm me down and I was, she was like okay Haley, you need to go now and i was like no <laughs> like i was crying when she told me she had to hang up because she was online at that point in school and I just remember crying, not wanting to hang up. But, like, she had already been in school for, like, a month before me. So, yeah. She gets out, like, a week or two before me, which is kind of crazy. I'm so excited. Oh, my God. I've never been so excited for school to end my life. Because she has a job now and she works till, like, 10 on the weekends. And I'm so sad about it. But I'm so excited for the weekend. Unless she picks up extra shifts. <laughs> but that will still be okay. But yeah, so in the beginning of the year, that's how that worked. We went on a tour with the guidance, or I went on a tour with the guidance counselor, and she's like, I will help you on Tuesday to your classes. You don't have to be here today. Like, you can if you want to. You can sit in a class for, like, the 45 minutes to an hour that you're here. Because it was like, I was already in history. Like, I wasn't in... I took Spanish in the beginning of the year. She's like, this, this is where your class is. This is how you get there. And she showed me the ways. And then the second day I was there, which was like the day I was like fully there, like for the whole day. I was like, okay, okay, I got this. I got this. I got help. And then it was like the last three classes of the day where I didn't get help too. I did ask teachers. And they're like, oh yeah, you have to go all the way back down the stairs, go all the way around. And lunch was a big thing because I could not find my way to the lunchroom either. So I was like, uh, how do I do this? <laughs> so then I finally was like, yeah, no, I'm not going the right way. I'm just going to go the wrong way. And then, like, throughout the year, it was like, I tried following the rules so much. And, like, then, like, the schedule changed to where I didn't have Spanish anymore. I had gym, so it was, like, one circle around the building. Because we only had one-way hallways at, the t at this time. We still do because of the whole pandemic, so it's like one way around the hallway. Then it was like another circle, and then another circle to get up all the three flights of stairs, or like four, five, six flights of stairs to the third floor. So it was like two, four, yeah, it's like six flights of stairs, which sucks. So, cause it's like, goes up like super high, but like that's how that worked. And then I had to go all the way back down to the stairs because I had to go to graphic design, which is on the first floor. Then I had to go all the way back up to go to lunch. Then back down, then back up to get to my last class. And I was like, back down. And by the time I got to the bus, I was like, <laughs> and my, like, my legs were like hurting because it's like so many stairs. <laughs> so much of this, so much of that. But then it was, we changed the schedule again to where I went back to history so it's like I had to walk all the way up to the third floor to go all the way down to the second floor to go all the way back up to the first floor or all the way down to the first floor then back up to the third floor then down to the first floor and it was just a lot of efforts to walk around that building 
with the one with hot ways and then <laughs> now we're back full in person this week starting tomorrow which is so exciting because i like school and i'm so excited to be there full of person again I'm also sad at the same time because i was in such a schedule where it's like okay it's monday i gotta wake up join the class go back to bed then wake back up to say goodbye to the teacher or to leave the class and then it was a whole thing and now the classrooms, some of them are changing again because of that exact reason. Full in person, not enough seats or not enough room to fit all the chairs we need to keep all the students as far apart as we need to. And it's the end of the year now and it's crazy to think I'm a junior next year. And it's crazy to think like I now have my permit. I can now drive with an adult. I now have to look for a job so that like I can like actually when I get my license to like actually like have a car to drive and it's so weird to think about so yeah it's the end of the year now five weeks left of school it's so so crazy to think about I went from being this nervous kid in the beginning of the year to being like more confident in going to school and like, I don't try and just follow the rules anymore. I'm just like, I know the rules, so I don't really have to follow them. It's like, it's muscle memory now. And the other day, we had testing for, like, the state standardized testing. So I, like, went from... I'm trying to think, sorry. It was like, I was like, okay, I'm just going to go down this, this way to get to English because it's like the stairwell's right here, so it's like... The hallway goes this way. I was trying to go this way. And then there's, like, that teacher who, like, yells at you to take your hat off, your hood off, put your mask up above your nose to go the right way. And I was like, crap. So I had to go all the way around. And I was like, yeah, I don't care if I'm late at this point. So at this point, I was like, I clicked that I'm, like, not as shy as I was at the beginning of the year. And, like, I actually interact with people now <laughs> like the teachers I didn't really interact with before I just sat there and if they're like Kaylee and I was like uh you have this sometimes I'll be like um this <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this and I hope you guys can sort of relate to the fact of a new school and stuff and yeah so thank you guys for watching and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video bye